Hello, this is Bern, and if you've recently experienced heartbreak or you're going through a breakup right now and it feels so painful, you're not even sure how to move forward, well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you four crucial decisions you need to make if you want to A, recover faster, B, change the fate of your love life, and C, create a significantly more passionate, exciting, and sustainable relationship with an amazing man moving forward. So stick around. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today's another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And on today's episode, I'm gonna be sharing with you four crucial decisions you can consciously, as an amazing, awakened, conscious woman that you are, make that will create a significantly higher chance for you to get what you want and experience less pain in the process of healing from this heartache, okay? The first decision you need to make is if you're going to use this as an opportunity to go deeper into a story of why it can't happen or if you're going to wake up from the story you've been following and recognize that there's things you can do that can create the kind of results you want. Let me explain. This can be, on both extremes, something either very powerful or very negative. On the negative scale of things, you can use this as an opportunity to say, all men are assholes, or men cannot be trusted, or all men cheat, or at my age it's incredibly hard, if not impossible, to find love, or this is not the way things used to go before, so it's uh, in this day and age with the internet and dating sites, it's impossible to find true love. You can use this opportunity and suck all the juice out of it to create a narrative that will make you fail in the future, but also prevent you from breaking your heart again this way, okay? Or you can use this as an opportunity to say, I'm going to wake up and recognize that over the last three, four, five, six relationships or relationships, I've experienced something very similar. Mm, I'm wondering if I may not be doing something subconsciously to mess my chances for real love. Because uh, if, if the problem is just with men, if, if there's nothing that you're doing right now, if you're just a victim of circumstance time and time and time again, you can't change it. But if you're in your infinite wisdom, you can recognize that there's some things you can do or you have been doing to create this kind of painful relationship then you have the power to change it. Instead of saying, well, all men are this way, you say, well, some men are different and I'm going to do whatever it takes right now to remove myself from guys who don't show up that way and to create a connection of the kind that those guys actually feel like stepping into. So decision number two that you have to make is, will you alchemize the pain that you're feeling into a productive set of emotions that fuel you and create a more fulfilling experience of life for you or are you going to let these emotions sink you into a depression? There's, again, on both ends of the spectrum, different options. One end of the spectrum means that you are going to think of everything that went wrong and blame yourself for it, uh, curse your luck, get in fetal position, suck your thumb, and then cry for hours on end. Uh, de turn down the shades, uh, open up uh, the, the, the music, turn it up at the highest volume, super sad playlist, and then you'll be depressed in no time. Now, am I saying you should not feel emotions, you should not go through grief? Absolutely not. You should experience emotions, but my dear, there's a gigantic difference between experiencing emotions and getting sucked into getting your intensity from painful emotions. One is healthy, allows you to release. The other one is connecting to yourself through painful, dark ways, uh, and it's not good for anyone. So make sure that you recognize the difference between when you're healthily, or in a healthy way experience, <laughs> experiencing, healthy, in a healthy way experiencing emotions that will just allow you to cleanse your system, or when you're overindulging in painful emotions because it feels kind of juicy to get that much intensity in a short amount of time. On the other end of the spectrum, uh, alchemizing this in a much more productive way is saying, well, I'm going to use the pain that I'm feeling right now as fuel. I'm going to turn it into self-compassion. I'm gonna turn it into self-love. I'm gonna turn it into higher awareness. I'm gonna turn this, overcoming this obstacle, overcoming this pain, 
will become a confidence that I will be able to take with me in any room that I step foot into so that not just with men, but in any other situation in my work, I have a higher level of awareness, consciousness, confidence that if I can overcome this, then I can do anything I want in life. So just you can use it for that reason. Few people do. Most people choose to go the first route for some time. So be aware of what you're doing. Third decision you need to make is, will you choose to continue doing this on your own or will you get some additional help in the process so that you cut down two or three years of your learning curve and unnecessarily uh, stop, I mean, don't, don't, like, stop trying to rediscover fire when that's something that was discovered ages and ages ago, right? If you find yourself in a situation right now where you've done the ebooks and you've done the free videos, including mine, and you've done a few other things, and you still, your life is not where it needs to be, shit, invest in yourself <laughs> and get what you want. Now, it might seem that this is an advertisement for myself. I, I can assure you it's not. Here's why. Because I only have 44 spots at any given point in time to work with women. And there's hundreds of thousands of women who watch my videos. So there's no way on earth I can actually help all the women that I, that I want to help. Because of that, there's multiple coaches, there's multiple uh, therapists, there, there's different kinds of support you can get that will help you to create the change that you want. Now, every now and then, of course, I have spots open and I'm happy to help you if I'm the right fit for you. But for the most part, get some help. Invest in yourself and cut down two years or three years of your learning curve by getting something that's proven, that's tested, that works, that can help you to not have to make mistakes that you're unable to see right now because you're doing it, you're looking at life from the inside out. And when someone from the outside can say, well, there's a few things that blind spots that you have right now that you're missing out on, that's going to be very, very official for you. So the decision here to be made is, will I do this on my own or will I get some type of help, any kind of help that allows me to have more awareness, deeper understanding, accountability, and shorten the time it takes for me to find the exact relationship that I'm looking for. Fourth decision you need to make is what kind of vision will you choose to create from this experience? Here's what I mean. You can choose to say right now, I'm going to go for the same thing I've been going for, even though it's not super exciting, or I'm going to lower my vision because I think I was being very peaky and I, I just shouldn't, can't get what I want, or I'm going to raise my vision even more. Now, if you raise your vision even more, and you do the counterpart, not just say, well, I want this type of man without you being someone who, that he would be attracted to. But if you turn yourself into that woman that will get that type of guy and you have a higher vision, then guess what's going to happen? You'll feel more excited. You'll do a hell of a lot more to get that type of relationship that you will to have some mediocre, uh, just boyfriend type experience that you're looking for in your mind. That's not super exciting. So if you want to create the kind of relationship you want, juice it up more by creating a higher vision than you what you even had before and do what you must to be able to be a resonant universal counterpart to that vision that you have so that it can actually happen hope this is helpful useful insightful my dear if it is i'm gonna ask you to do three things number one click like on this video number two subscribe to my channel uh number three on the description of this video uh if you click on show more sometimes uh, you see a on the first line of the description of this video you'll see a link that allows you to sign up for a free masterclass where I can guide you through the specific steps you need to take if you want to not just transcend breakup and heartbreak, but create the kind of relationship that you've not even thought was possible. Uh, all you have to do is click on that link. You'll get directed to a page that will have a yellow bar. Click on the yellow bar, then enter your name and email, and you'll start watching that class right away. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.